Hello, today is Thursday, January 28th, and this is the 28th chapter of Genesis. We, uh, where we left off was Jacob and Esau. Esau's angry at the thieving of the blessing of Isaac, and Jacob has to flee the wrath of his brother. And so his mom hatches a plan to explain to her husband Isaac, who's at a, who is a very old age, that Jacob needs to go somewhere else to find a wife. And so she sends him to her uh, family home, to her father's house, to find a wife among her brother's daughters. So Jacob leaves to go marry his cousin. Now, mind you, um, Jacob's uncle Laban, Rebecca's brother, are a brother and sister, and their father is Bethuel, who is the son of Nahor, and Nahor's brother is Abraham. So Abraham's son is Isaac. Nahor's granddaughter is Rebekah. They get married and have Jacob and Esau, and Jacob marries Nahor's great-great-granddaughters. Z, both of them sisters. So that, but that has, it remains to be seen. He's sent over there to do such a thing. Um, and you see where this family tree kind of goes in instead of out. <laughs> and uh, we, we, we covered that back in, the, in, in other chapters though. And then another section says that Esau finds a wife among, among his cousins on his father's side. So, um, Half brother Ishmael has children, and one of his daughters is becomes another wife to Esau. Remember that Esau already married the Hittite women, the Hittite headaches. I've named them because um, it says just one little line in there that says um, that Esau's wives made life bitter for Jacob and Rebekah. I don't know what that's about, but Esau's wives made them bitter. It seems to be like there's a contention there. Jacob and Rebecca, Isaac and Esau. Uh, so now to the good part that we've established. You go off here and marry this cousin. You go off here and marry that cousin. Keep the family tree skinny. And uh, the good part is the narrative. So what we need to do is some suspended disbelief. We need to set aside some angry that we might have right now. We need to set aside some anger or some um, opinion we might have towards Jacob right now that he's done this deceptive thing to his brother at his mother's urging. We need to kind of set that aside and accept that Jacob is the father of the nation of Israel. His name will indeed become Israel. So can we just do that? I just, we just have to kind of move on in that, in that thread. We can deal with this later maybe um, when Jacob does something else that's kind of rotten, but uh, like favoritism. <laughs> but uh, so some sus suspended disbelief. We're going to have to like get over that whole Esau has every right to be angry with his brother and just move on to establish that we all hate Jacob for what he did to Esau, but let's lay that aside. Now we have the story that inspired a song. Um, the same type of dream or vision that his father Isaac had had. Um, and then, and of course, Abraham had had these visions as well. So this is the ancestral narrative, the lineage, the legacy of that. He has the dream. He put, puts his head on a rock for a pillow I'm calling it the pillar pillow or the pillow pillar. And he has a dream. He dreams that he sees a ladder that goes all the way to heaven and angels ascending and descending. And he wakes up and he says, this is a holy ground where heaven meets earth. And therefore I will call it Bethel. And then he takes the pillow pillar <laughs> and he puts it into the ground, pours some oil on it, and it becomes a marker. Later, we'll see that it's called an Ebenezer to say this is 
a place where I've come this far. And so it just establishes more sort of for us in our in our story, the beginning of the ancestral narrative of Jacob. And this will be a long story and we will be reading about Jacob and Jacob's descendants from this day forward. So, and then of course that would include, it counts as Abraham's descendants because he's kind of related to Abraham from both sides. Um, so he goes off to, um, and, and on his journey, he has this encounter that establishes him as part of the ancestral narrative in the heritage of the ancestral narrative. And we just have to get over the fact that we think he made a dirty trick to his brother. Sorry. God is good. <laughs> Have a wonderful day.